Today I'm going to show you how to dry clothes using a drying rack. So if you don't have a dryer in the house or you're just looking to save some money, you've come to the right place. If this is your first time watching my channel, I'm Tor. I like to make this uh, cleaning and some clothing type of videos. So if you are into that, make sure to subscribe. But for now, let's get into how to dry clothes. So the first thing you want to do uh, after you get your clothes out of the dryer is that you want to stretch them out a little bit. Usually when they come out of the dryer, they're kind of crumbled up and uh, uh, in order to get rid of the most amount of wrinkles possible, we're just going to give it a little bit of a shake. And usually what I like to do is just take each individual um, clothing article uh, at the time and just give them a little shake. Uh, another thing you may want to make sure is that you're using some kind of fabric softener this is because when you don't use the dryer, um, your, your clothes tend to get kind of, the, the fiber tend to be kind of flat. Often what's, what happens when you use the dryer is that in the centrifuge they get kind of shaken up and the, the little fibers on your clothes tend to stick out instead of just being pressed down. Uh, this little thing right here, fabric softener, tends to help out a lot. Make sure to experiment with it, it's totally worth the cost. So. Now let's get into how to actually hang these things. There are a few things to keep in mind when you want to hang your clothes. We're going to start with the simplest ways to do it. So um, often you have the choice between this kind of clothing rack and this more kind of, uh, this one is a lot bigger. Uh, you also sometimes have the ones you can pull out of the wall. If you have that, that's totally fine. But if you want to do this, uh, I do recommend getting this kind of clothing rack. I will link it in the description uh, for Amazon customers if you're interested in that. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is unfold your clothing rack. And from here we're going to take the clothing and we're going to hang it. When it comes to t-shirts it's usually fine to just use one of the lines, like so. I like to stretch them out, make sure there is enough room for it to hang. Um, you can hang it in the middle, you can hang it a little bit uh, on the side, the most important thing when you're hanging your stuff is that the side that is the heaviest gets to hang downwards. For example, if you have a pair of socks, you want to hang them in the direction that is the heaviest. Which in the case of these socks would be something like this. Now this is totally up to you, but this is a little bonus tip. Uh, it's easier if you designate areas for your socks to hang together so it's easier to just fold them afterwards but like I said optional so when it comes to underwear let's give them a little shake and we're going to hang them just like so as you can see it's going to drip the most down here so you want to hang it in this direction the space between each of the article of clothing I like to leave as much as possible but if you do have to hang them just give them a little bit of room so that they don't like squeeze together um, you want to have them as stretched out as possible so for uh, these types of big shirts and uh, more dressier shirts you may ask can I use uh, clothes hangers to dry these things mm, yes and no I'm going to show you what kind of clothing hangers you want to use and what kind you don't want to use so the thing is when you're hanging up your t-shirts uh, there is, you have these ones. Now I don't recommend using these uh, very narrow clothing hangers. And the reason why is that when you hang them, like so, you can see already here it's starting to stretch in the shoulder. So the result is that when this article of clothing is done drying off, and you take this thing off the, off the clothing hanger, you're gonna be left with this very clear marks on the shoulders. The same thing goes for every type of hanger that is short like this. Uh, that would be also the plastic kind, like this, as well as these. These are not as bad, uh, they are a little bit broader, but you're still, still going to see it. Uh, these kind of hangers are great for other things. You could use them to hang, uh, for example, denim pants over them, or just anything that doesn't really stretch like shorts and perhaps underwear would be fine as well. So when you're gonna hang it, use this type of hanger, okay? This one is a lot broader. As you can see here, when I put this 
shirt on this hanger, it's gonna look a lot better. See here in the shoulders, there is no particular area that's just getting kind of nipped and pulled upwards. The entire shoulder is covered. So if you're gonna use hangers, use these kinds. So at this point, you can just hang it up on your little rack here, like so, and that's good. Uh, in this instance, it's not good because it's actually hitting the floor. So I'm gonna move it to a higher area where it can hang freely, like so. So another little thing you may wanna keep in mind when you're hanging your clothes is that uh, the room needs some kind of circulation or heating. Otherwise, it's gonna take very long time for your clothes to dry. Uh, and it's also going to end up moldy if it's to the point where your clothes are dry, taking multiple days to dry. Ways to get around this is to use, uh, in this is instance I'm using heated floor, which will uh, kind of heat up the clothes. There's also some circulation in the room when I open the doors. Uh, you can place it near a window, but if you place it near a window, one thing to keep in mind is that the, the sun can actually bleach your clothes. So if you're going to place it near a sunny area, Perhaps you want to consider turning the clothes inside out, like so, alright? A very easy fix to get around this problem is to just place a normal uh, floor pan next to your clothing rack. You can place it on a low uh, setting so that it doesn't consume too much energy. I know a lot of you are trying to save some uh, on the power bill by using the drying racks to dry your clothes. Another very important thing to keep in mind is that if you have knit sweaters, uh, other types of very unfriendly things to hang out here. You saw what happened when I used a little clothing hanger on the, the shirt. Well, if you're going to use the drying rack for your uh, sweaters and uh, more delicate items, um, you should not hang it directly on top of the rack. Instead, I got a really cool tip that I'm going to share with you. So. What you want to do is that you want to take a towel, a dry towel, not a freshly washed towel, okay? That's not going to help your case here. So you just want to kind of fold it up a little bit, depending on how much room you have. Uh, since this drying rack is not very full, I'm going to place it on top of the drying rack. But if you have filled up your entire drying rack, uh, I recommend that you put uh, the towel on top of a chair or something. You could probably get away with putting it on the floor as well. Just keep in mind that if you have P-lights, uh, they're probably going to sit down on it. So you're going to end up with a very hairy sweater. A dry sweater, but a very hairy one. So, let me just place it here on top of the drying rack. And since I haven't washed any sweaters today, it's Norwegian summer. You don't want to wear sweaters outside here, you're going to be very uncomfortable. <laughs> so, let me just grab this shirt that we were drying before. And then, I am going to place the towel here in the middle of the rack and it's as simple as just placing your shirt on top of the towel. Now if you do this uh, I do recommend that perhaps halfway through the drying process you turn the shirt around. There are some special types of bags that you can put on some drying racks, I don't have any. But if you do have these kind of mesh bags that you put on the drying rack, you could use that instead of the towel. It's probably going to be better for you. But if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just placing it on a towel is completely fine. Another little cool tip that I want to share with you is that this sweater can actually be cleaned in like two minutes. If you use this cool little trick that I made a video about before. If you're interested in that, just head over to my channel and check out one of my other videos. I think it's the most popular one in there. So yeah, enjoy that. So depending on how hot it is in your, uh, where you live, it's gonna take about overnight to dry the clothes usually. If it's very humid, it may take upwards of two days. Um, if you have the opportunity in the summer, I do recommend hanging them outside, especially if uh, you have uh, a clothing line outside. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. You'll have to click on over to the next one and I'll show you how to do that there. So, if you enjoy these types of clothing and cleaning videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and you will receive the newest videos in the future.